Telling you, some person will open their windows and see the rain is falling and say, Ah, they lost their skins. It's ready, they should know. May that not be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. For you to have sacrificed this morning, God will sacrifice things beyond you in the mighty name of Jesus. Can you jump your head? And welcome one another. Stand up on your seat. Go and welcome one another. Tell them welcome. You look beautiful. It is a privilege to see somebody this morning. He's smiling, put on a smiling face. Ah, uh -uh. the red was for everybody. Ah, uh -uh. ah, be careful. What are you saying? Ah, no. Ah, that person welcome. I appreciate it. I appreciate that person. You are looking good. Yeah, that person, you are looking beautiful. Ah, you are looking at something. Bless God for the rain. Bless God for the rain. Thank you. Uh -huh. Now you are doing something. Good. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. 
God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. See, when you greet you, greeting brings salvation. Salvation brings hope. When you greet somebody as smart as that person, that half percent of problem has gone. Two of us. Why you smile? You are smiling away all those problems and pillars of trouble. Learn how to smile. You can never come to Pastor D and they be going. He will give it to you straight. Why is your face like this? Man of God. Man of God. Praise the Lord. It is only in the household of God that you can be open to talk to your brethren. When you go to some areas that they are doing courses, this is an invitation. But you will see how corporate they are. You can be very careful with the way you shape the people. But in the household of God, you can you can embrace yourself. You can ask questions. You are permitted to ask. It is in the household of God. May God bless each and every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So we are going to the next level. And the next level is to testify of the goodness of what God has done in our families, in our home, in the lives of our children, in your businesses, even in your health, which is the most paramount. And I know that so many of us here have testimony. And if you do, please, can you signify by raising your hands up? We have one, we have two. In the household of God, three, three ladies, women of God, family, we have three of them. Can we welcome, jam your hands together? Welcome, welcome. This is Can we jam our hands together? Now you're going to lose your voice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 I'm the happiest person standing here this morning. I have two testimonies. I'm going to be very brief. One, I want to thank God for my job. I believe God in one thing, and I always tell people, I don't, you don't bring somebody down to get at the top. Because if you do that, another person will definitely bring you down. Last week, I had a little challenge with my company drivers. They don't understand English. So I find it very difficult to communicate with them. They're going to say, wait means go to them. So one have to, when I said wait, he moved. He didn't even communicate with me. But I thank God that my phone had record. So I record almost all my calls. So when he passed, the person at the checkpoint thing, I wanted to buy cut to take the money. So he said he wants to take the truck to the office. I said, okay, I have to involve my boss because my mind was free. When I sent his number to my boss, my boss called him and he was like blackmailing me to my boss. That I'm fond of doing this, that I've been working with his boys doing this. My boss was like, ah, not that lady. I know her very well. That she can. He said, okay, if you want to defend your girl, then I'm taking the job to the office. But please to rent my boss the alarm. It's okay. After everything, I cried at home. In short, I wasn't happy on Sunday when I came. I was like, how can this man blackmail me like this? After working with him all these years, I was still sad when my boss called and said, Victoria, don't worry, I know you. It's just the plan of the enemy. To cut the whole story short, on Sunday evening, the man called me. He said, uh, I've seen your messages, I've done this, I've done this. I don't want you to always communicate with your driver. I, I said, I just want you to trust me that nothing of such happened. I'm standing here to thank God because I work with somebody that trusts me. If it was the other way around, I'm not sure I could have still secured my job with what that man happened to tell my boss. Secondly, I want to thank God for my sister, my elder sister. The husband traveled from Abuja to Akwaibun to get some oil, palm oil to send to uh, Kano. On their way after successful buying in a bomb, on their way going, armed robbers attack them in a new group. They shoot. You know, if you happen to see this video, you will think if somebody survived in that car. They shoot in that Siena, and the person in the front, my sister's husband was at the back. The person in the front, the bullet pierced through the eye from this one of the eye like this, so you couldn't even recognize it. As I'm talking to you, to you now, the young man is there, but my sister's husband come out with the driver in that car on board. So I just want to give God all the glory to me for saving their life and for saving my job. I say, let his name alone be glorified. Let the name of God be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our team this morning, what is it that we are more than one?
any road and we can conquer with the will, with the belief that God is with us. And that shall it be so in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Divine visitation. There has been a divine visitation in that room. And so shall it be permanent in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Can we jam our hands together and we do work. This is all the man of God. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Happy Sunday, everyone. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I, I just want to give God glory for what God is doing, and it's a continuous process. He has been doing it and he's still doing it. So, uh, it's about my younger brother for so many years. Uh, he finished his NYC in 2014. And we've been looking for a job, no job anywhere. But the way this one came was just a miracle. He, he, we, we just, in fact, the time has passed. For the interview and everything and my i just called my uncle he said he should come and when he went there after all the processes he got the job and last week he was given the appointment number two um, my age or two <laughs> my elder sister's husband all of a sudden around 2 a.m my phone rang in fact, I was not simply sleeping. I wasn't sleeping that day. I don't know what happened. I was just restless. But around 2 a.m., my phone rang. My elder sister called. She just told me that uh, her husband has been taken to the hospital. Ah, what is the matter? Ah, that he, he's finding it difficult to urinate. And so they took him to the hospital. After they took care of him, he was just sitting waiting for drug so that they had missed that, uh, give him the drug to take home, only for him to collapse. And they started to, you know, they, they at least had what they call a CR, CPR, and he regained himself. When I got there yesterday, he said, they said he went to his other, uh, younger sister's house. In his younger sister's house, the same thing happened again. And they took him back to the clinic. But today, as I'm standing here, he's better and more. Hallelujah. Can we turn that hand of the name of the Lord? To God create the glory. There was a resuscitation of life in him. And that is the theme of this book. Divine visitation. And so shall it be in our homes in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Divine visitation in our health. Divine visitation in our finances. Divine visitation in our academics. Divine visitation in your businesses. Divine visitation in your marriages. Amen. And so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Did you hear her talk about God? God will send your destiny and father. They will make a telephone call to you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You are well able. The Sunday school teaching today energized me. I don't know for you. When God has a plan for you, stick by doing your own action. And what are the actions of it for solution power? Praying with your knees up to the ground, looking up to Jesus as the only author and finisher. Do not hang on human being. When God wants to help you, we will select the best thing. The best thing will be made for you. He will run around you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Can we make welcome our mommy? Clap your hands together as she points from our test. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Mama, what's up, Mama? Hey, this was this. Every time you say this, we'll just be looking. Uh, we, uh, this was this was the one we learned it. Okay, when I say every time, you say great, 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 glorious greatness. That's the great
after the great, 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 glorious, great, great. So it's the great, 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 glorious, great, great. I am telling us we're not copying the answer. Great, 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 great glorious. It is good to copy. It is good to copy. Praise the Lord. Yeah. I just want to say the Lord is good to me and my family. I was I'm overwhelmed with great joy. My birthday, I just want to appreciate as men that make it a new success. As yesterday, God was surprising me. My pastor, my daddy, my general overseer. Mm. Just by thinking, they surprise me. On Friday, if you see me, I don't know who called me last month. I said, Nah, you are doing bad. The mommy is not well. I don't know who called him. Yeah, that person did a mistake. Praise the Lord. Amen. But you don't know what is facing them. And you called him. That Friday, I was done because I was overstressed. So I decided to say, Let me rest. Before I will embark on a journey. So maybe that person seeing me at that point in time. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I just want to thank God for the journey mm -hmm. that He gave to us. Yes, Lord. Me, I just believe God that that car that took us there will bring us back. Amen. And God did it for us. Yes, Lord. He did it in a way that we would not go know, we not go understand. At the, at the, in short, at the appointed time, mechanic came. Mm. The mechanic did the whole, but God did the best. Amen. God did the best for us. Hallelujah. Amen. And the joy mercy he gave to us there and and even the barrier. Something that we thought that would not be possible, he make it possible for us. Oh, yeah. To him be all the glory. Yes, to him be the praise. Amen. And as many who have contributed to the success. Of everything concerning the family of the young ones mm. who will be successful in Jesus' name. Amen. God never leave us, never forsake us. Yes, Lord. At the appointed time, God must answer. Amen. The way they are meant to pray, they say God to answer. Mm. When they are meant to pray, they say God to answer. Yes, Lord. May His name be praised forever in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 your hands together on the door. How are you continue to celebrate your birthday every day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ? Every activity will be increased in all ramifications. Praise Master Jesus. I would like to call our Reverend for before he comes up. I think he was the last uh, testifier. But I'd like to also appreciate yesterday because sometimes when you see things that Happens and in your very eyes, God came down to take charge. Then you understand that of the truth. Ephata International Bible Church is where God resides. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And when God wisdom comes over man's wisdom, then you surrender. I surrender because. Sir, when the very old, I want to thank our daddy. I never see you know, I have watched it in so many churches. I've never seen uh general overseers being part of member, member going for uh you know burials and all that. I would like to encourage us. You know, sometimes when I stand here and keep saying this, you will feel is a uh, waste of time, it's not. When you require people to come for you, that is when you understand what it is. But if it is the requirement for you to go and the excuses are lined up, you must have to deny so many things to be able to achieve that purpose. But I thank God for the faith and the unity of the church. That has not been broken. If that breaks, I tell you, whatever we are doing, we are deceiving ourselves. If that all of let's come together to go and cry with our brethren when he is crying, or to go and marry with the person when he is marrying, lipstick, that is great. But for this church, 
Now we jam our hands together. Thank you. God bless 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 you, sir. If you see our reverend, don't make any. My son, everything. It was all for me. It was all. Uh, when I have an armor of army, sir, they delegated some people from my car and recruited some people. That they can present that their armor. Oh, well, that's been you know, Rain was falling. This is where they were born here. Yeah. It's not rain. Rain was falling. I better say it come out. Oh, what the bonnet? That's the rain is falling. He said, No, sit down, daddy. We are all much. And people outside were saying, ah, Rain is falling. These people are walking in the car, not knowing it's the Holy Ghost using them. See, when God says that He has appointed a time where we will testify of His goodness, it was yesterday that I saw it. God bless the Kinema. That man we did there, Pastor Kinema. And we can my hands together. I celebrate people when I see them we pass me. Jerry, that you saw that came to do the Sunday school, sir. It's not only Sunday school teacher. An advisor, you see, economic value. If you see where they price the mechanic of the financial assets, then you take it easy. Say, no, 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 no. Don't place this trust. We are complete. Now you can go to work through this place. They say he must go to that place. And he got there with eight food. I don't I love this woman who they pass food in me. Mom is a chop. I don't stop. I can't go stop. But while we were coming back, you know, this is the aspect I want to just uh, tell you that when God is in your case, no amount of the pillar of the enemy can deter that source. While we were coming back, it was seven o'clock on the Ogoni axis. The police were trying to also stop us, collect money, bring, bring, bring. We did not give them. The Holy Spirit told the mega, Daddy, don't give them. You don't give them. And they did not collect you. But the car that we are towing, he came to towing the car at 10 kilometers per hour. You know what that means? It means that almost it will continue like that. We'll come back around 12. And the families of the wives, please, can we jam our hands for me? <laughs> I they look everywhere. Look at no person. My testimony, I want to phone a uh, very happy tribute to this uh, to me this morning. I'll do. Okay, and the harmony did not come as she didn't come. I'll mention the names of the people. She was praying. They were all praying. The children, you know, when somebody the children, what? you join and shoot. There's nothing you can do, but they have. Why that problem of move from here to here? Overheat, move from here to here, overheat, pour water, bath of water. They said that car must come back to water for Because the of the letter. It must come, that is, they can't leave it here. Pour water, 10 minutes, 5 minutes, and the distance of that. At the point in time, my reverend said, This is your paper, it will not pour water again. It will take us to. And immediately we covered the bonnet and removed the chewing gum. Oh yeah. What I was hearing is that it fired up. What was it? What was it? Cable. Cable. Yeah. From this youth. Cable, sir. Cable. Cable. I don't know cable. I don't understand. Cable. Cable. Say, God brought us safely. Can we drop our hands? Wow. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So there's nothing God cannot do. He has started it, he must finish it. What we are saying in earnest is that that barrier that has been like a barrier, I said this month of July, it has singularly, single handedly remembered your family in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me tell my hands to that as we invite our friend to come and pray for the testimony of Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
you know, God is the way you are looking this morning. Oh, oh my God. Hallelujah. You don't know what it means for us to have life. You know, when I, I turned around to nine, and the people who went to acquire who said they were just coming under that heavy rain. With all the things they said happened with the vehicle in that Ogoni bad road, God brought them back. God took them down and brought them back. But he said, for us people to pass. It's a different story you will hear. I don't want me to go watch on social media as if it was on the 29th or 28th. The vehicle that was coming from Lagos to Benin that had an accident for everybody. Everybody, as if it was, they were looking for parts of people. Oh, so you don't know what it means when you are in God's house. Mm. We started January together. Not everybody is alive now. Yeah. Men and brethren, please, are you are you willing to be happy yeah. to say, God, I thank you. Yeah. Are you ready to dance this morning?
sometimes just leave the problem. Don't be said the problem one day. Which day you can leave her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave her. What you cannot solve, leave it. Yes, sir. And do what God wants you to do. Give to him what he cannot do himself. And if he pass back, he will come at everybody. Manipulate things in your favor. And we go and solve that thing. Just like the youth, you know, people are, are thinking, say, Kepo, this year, this month, ah, okay. this month, we don't know Somebody said, Kepo, you don't know what that means. It means speed. Find the goal. What did they have? Find that. Don't be afraid. Find out the goal. Because God is the man who told us. We have been hearing testimonies. We've not seen anything. He's about to do wonders. He's about to do wonders. He's about to do wonders. If only you believe. He's about to do wonders. This month of July. This is to our song that we gave us in Jesus' name.
Do you believe that the Lord reigns forever? Yes, Do you talk with Do you believe that He reigns forever? Yes. You are going to sing that song again. Mm. Jointly. Some of you were not dancing. You were not singing with the gospel light. He reigns forever. Yes. Where Paul and Silas, even in the prison, sang to the Most High God. What happened? They received divine visitation. The chains fell off them. Do you believe that he reigns forever? Yes. You believe that he reigns forever? Yes. You are going to sing and dance to that. Are you ready? Yes, Church of God, are you ready? <laughs>
You are mighty in this place. Father, we thank you. That you have chosen to visit us. Bless all your holy name. And we know that the visitation of the Lord shall bring about deliverance, shall bring about upliftment. Yokes shall be broken, burdens shall be lifted up. Father, behold your people, your children. You are gathered Expectant, they will not go the same way they are found. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We hand over our Lord this church into your hand. I hand over our Lord your children into your hand. They are the walls of your hand. They are projects in your hand. Your visitation will bring about speed. Amen. You will not leave them, nor forsake them. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Emmanuel, you are with us. Father, we thank you. thank you. Take glory, honor, and adoration. For in Jesus' name we are praying. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Jam your hands together as you take your hands. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. You are welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And I want to say happy new month to you once again. Happy new month to you. Happy, tell your neighbor happy new month. Happy new month. Tell your neighbor you are welcome to the season of divine visitation. You are welcome to the season of divine visitation. Because the visitation of the Lord shall be continuous. Yes, sir. You shall be what? Continuous. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, we are in the year of uh, divine advancement. True of us. Divine what? Advancement. And if truly you want to have advancement in this season, you need divine visitation. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The psalmist said, let's open to the book of Psalms, chapter 18. Excuse me. Are we there? Verse 25. I'm going to start from 25. The key verse is 29. But let's do the premise. Okay? So with thy mercy, with thy what? Mercy. Thou will show thyself what? Merciful. With an upright man. Thou will show thyself what? Merciful. 26. With the pure that will show yourself what? Yeah. And with the fraud, that will show yourself what? Fraud. That is the dual personality of God. He said to the merciful, he show himself what? Merciful. Ask yourself whether you are merciful. He said to the merciful, I will do what? And to the fraud, you that you over savvy, you that you are manipulating, you that you are cunning and full of all evil imagination. He said to the fraud, I, the Lord, will show my death for Verse 27. For thou will serve the afflicted people. The afflicted people, people that are afflicted, maybe with sickness, maybe there is any problem that they are suffering. People that have challenges, the Lord said, He is going to save them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 28. 
said, For thou will light my candle, where the Lord will light your candle. Amen. May you not dwell in darkness. Amen. The Lord Himself will illuminate your life. Your business, your idea, the Lord will lighten it up. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. the Lord will light my candle. The Lord, my God, will enlighten my darkness where I'm ignorant. He will give me a sword when you are deficient and you are in need. The Lord will shine his light. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. For by thee, O oh Lord, I have brought through a truth. And by my God, I have lived over in the world. That is to say, there is nothing to be difficult for God to do. There is nothing he cannot do. You want divine advancement to progress in life, to advance in your business, to advance in your faith, in your matrimony. You want advancement? It is by God. Praise the Lord. And this is the reason why we are asking for divine visitation. Praise the Lord. We are in the second half of the year, two of us. Yes, you have aspiration. There are things you want God to do for you this year. Things you cannot do for yourself. Lord is speaking to you today. In the book of Exodus chapter 3. Exodus chapter 3, verse 7. You don't need to be afraid of anything. Nothing is going to hinder you from fulfilling what the Lord has proposed for you. From achieving your goal, your target. Nothing will hinder you from being successful. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are a project in the hands of the Lord. God does not abandon his project. When he gives you the grace and the faith to start, he will give you the grace and the faith in the middle. He will give you the grace and the faith to finish. By the unction of heaven, I pronounce upon you that you will finish well. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. He said that we give you an end with faith, an end with hope, hopeful ending. He will never leave you nor forsake you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Exodus chapter 3. Verse 7. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the afflictions of my people which are in Egypt. What of Egypt? Kodos. What does it represent in Christendom? Ashe. Ashe. Affliction, trouble. That is what he represents. I have seen the affliction of my people, which are in Egypt, and I've heard their cry. They don't have me to tell you. He has heard your cry, your simplest cry. When no man is not there, your yearning, he said, I have had it. Your prayers, they are not in vain. He said, I have what? I have had it. They have heard their cry, the simple tears. Some of us, after singing, after clapping, you go home, no 
money in your pocket, you go home, no job on Monday, you go to no business, no husband, no wife, you close your door and you shed tears. Oh, how I wish the situation could be different. I'm here to announce to you that the Lord said, I have heard your cry. Amen. Amen. And the Lord is not prepared. He's not the kind of God that is not moved by our tears. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If I had a child that was in a puppy, throw a ball. And the father sent them out to the desert with what? A loaf of bread and a jar of water. He could have given them camels filled with water. But is the heavenly father like that? No. That is the heavenly father. There is limitation with what one can do. But what God can do is illimitable. It has no end. The child was crying in the desert. He vowed to die. And the scripture said, he heard the cry of the lad, of the baby. He sent an angel and he dug a well to sustain them. The Lord will do the impossible. Yeah. Yeah. Before your source runs dry, mm -hmm. another one will come. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. So the angel visited that child. That child, you don't die. You will not die. Amen. Your vision will not die. Amen. Your dream will not die. Amen. Your aspiration, things you hope to be in life, situation and circumstances will not destroy them. Amen. Your life will not be extinguished by the evil ones. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. He said. I have heard their cry by the reason of their task master. By the reason of their task manipulators. They kept shifting the goalposts. Manipulators, evil people, witches and witchcraft. No wonder I said effectual mm. and perfect doors are open to me, but they are what? Mm. Adversaries. Adversaries. Hey. Adversaries are the task master. For I know your souls. The Lord said, He knows your souls. Mm. And I'm telling you, He will not be unmoved by this. No wonder. He said in verse 8, and I have come down, the Lord has come down, mm. to do what? To deliver me. Mm. He said, upon Mount Zion shall be what? Deliverance and holiness. Upon Mount Zion shall be what? Deliverance and holiness. There shall be deliverance. Because God will come down to deliver his people. Yes, sir. Unfortunately, the eyes of the Lord is so pure that I cannot behold iniquity. And that is where the holiness comes in. Romans says, Shall we therefore remain in sin that grace may abound? Tell your neighbor, God forbid. If you are waiting divine visitation, you must set your life right. The Lord is about to visit his people. He said, I will tabernacle with you. I am in the midst of thee. Therefore, 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 thy camp shall be holy. Young men, young men, young ladies that may practice this of sin, as if they are drinking water, the Lord is saying, repent, turn around so that my visitation can accomplish it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Remember, He said, to whom? That is forward. I, the Lord, am forward. He visits the afflictions, the sins of the father, to the children, the unbelieving children, to the third and fourth, even 
How many generations? Four generations. Four generations. But I'm here to announce to you that I said that will not be your portion. Amen. He said that will not be your what? Mm-hmm. You will not suffer because of the iniquity of sins of your parents. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In as much as you stand upright and you call the name of the Lord, you are born again and you are washed in his blood. Say, therefore, tell them this proverb shall never be said again in Israel. That the Father has given a shower grave. And the things of the children are set at hand, said, God forbid. Tell your neighbor, God forbid. You will not suffer for the sin of your parents. For there will be nothing like connective captivities. The Lord has come to deliver you. You are not suffering because of the captivities in the family anymore. But the Bible says, even as the soul of the father is wise, so is the soul of the children. So that sinner shall die. But when you know the Lord and you call our Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, you will be delivered. Amen. You will not suffer. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So I have come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians, out of the manipulators. You are due for promotion, promotion is not coming. You are diligent, they are giving you more job. The Lord said, It's time for you to be rewarded. Is now. Amen. Tell your neighbor, He's rewarding me now. He is visiting me now. Say, and I will bring them up out of that land. Out of that land. Out of that poverty stricken situation. Out of that debt. Out of that oppression, the Lord said, I am bringing you out. Amen. I am bringing you out. Amen. I am bringing you out. Amen. Unto a good land. I hope you have the same Bible that I have. I am bringing you out, out of that land, that small land, to a large land. Unto a land that is full with milk and honey. With milk and honey. No matter what before you, know that the Lord is bringing you out. Know that the Lord is taking you to a new place. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are welcome to your season of divine. Situation. Give the Lord a shout. Give the Lord a shout. In Luke, in Luke chapter 1, verse 68, the Bible says, Open your scriptures so that you can enjoy and flow with the living. He said, Blessed be the Lord, God of our Father, God of heaven. Blessed be the Lord, the Lord God of Reverend Doctor Robinson on your body. Of Reverend Doctor Prince and Deputy. Blessed be the name of the Lord. For he has visited us and redeemed his people. The Lord has visited you. Amen. And has redeemed you. Yes. Remember, there is a portion of Bible that says, Oh, the Lord was here, and I knew it not. That will not be your point. Yes. You will feel the visitation of the Lord. Yes. You will be advanced by the visitation of the Lord. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. You may ask me, What is divine visitation? Where did that thing come in? What does it mean to be visited divinely? I'm sure you understand the meaning of visitation. A child is being presented unto the Lord today. So we are seeing the child for the first time. That is a visitation. And by virtue of that, anyone that is in need of a child is going to contact. He's going to be blessed. The womb is going to be blessed. 
In the mighty name of Jesus. The child is not to be dedicated unto the Lord. Throw off. So the child is not to have an encounter with the Lord. Throw off. You will have an encounter with the Lord. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Divine visitation is the one that is orchestrated by the Lord. And God Himself. Tell your neighbor by the Lord. And God Himself. Oh, it is such that it changes situation. If the Lord visits you, mm. I never remain. Amen. Come to your neighbor and tell your neighbor. When the Lord visits you, you can never remain the same. When the Lord visits you, you can never remain the same. It is an error for the Lord to visit you and you remain the same. It is not possible. It is not possible. When Abraham was visited, his name was changed to what? Abraham. Through a fault. When Sarah was visited, her name was changed from Sarah to what? Sarah. To what? Sarah. And the meaning of her name changed when the Lord visited Jacob. His name was changed to what? Yes. The Lord will visit you. Amen. Yeah. And he will change your name. Yes, sir. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, this is the act of the Lord. It's not by man. A man can bless you, a man can lift you up. Because the Lord is visiting you. You see that man. Praise the Lord. So, divine visitation is God stepping into your situation to turn it around. The Bible said there was a famine in the land. He said, Greater than the first famine. Then the Lord visited Isaac and he said, Don't run away. Everybody was looking for better pastor because the pasture, the green, is greener at the other side, right? And that's the context of Japan. Do you know that? When you get there, you realize it's not always. So the Lord told him, I visited you. Do not run away from this land. In this land, you shall do what? Prosper. Prosper. So he told him, in this land that you have, you must sow, you must cultivate. Some of us, we want divine visitation, but we're not ready to sow. We're not ready to cultivate. Mm. That is fabulous. The Lord will not bless empty hands. He the Lord. Mm -hmm. So if the Lord wants to visit you and turn your situation around, you first position yourself. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Amen. When the Lord visited Mary, she kept herself upright. She was not sleeping around. Betrothed to her man, Joseph. True of us? True. She kept herself. And when the Lord visited her, what happened? She said, You have found favor in the sight of the Lord. You will find favor in the sight of the Lord. Amen. I am going to. This is what the Lord is saying. I am going to give you a child. And she said, I can have a child. Anything that seems impossible is possible with the Lord. She asked the angel, knowing that I have found no woman, she said, The Holy Spirit will be upon you. May the Holy Spirit incubate your life. May the Holy Spirit incubate your business. May the Holy Spirit fill you to speak with other tongues, empower you. Make you to be fruitful. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord is going to visit you, beloved. I'm here to announce to you. In as much as it is the prerogative of the Lord, you have a part to play. Praise the Lord. Amen. But I want to announce to you as you do your and you wait on the Lord patiently, he will visit you. Amen. Tell your neighbor, the Lord will visit you. Amen. It does not matter what the 
According to the word of the Lord. In Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 15. I said, Oh Lord, thou knowest and remember me. And visit me. And revenge me of my persecutors. Take me not away in thy long suffering. Know that for thy sake I have suffered evil. A lot of people, because of the faith, because of the scripture, because of the Bible, because of the church, they have suffered a lot of evil. Because what others are doing, they cannot afford to do. Praise the Lord. The Lord will not take you away suddenly. What that means is that you will not die young. You will not die before your breakthrough. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say, so remember me, O oh Lord. May the Lord remember you. Amen. May the Lord remember you. Amen. May the I am that I am remember you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. He so said, visit me. Let there be divine visitation. And that's why I say you must be holy before you can call for divine visitation. But when he visit, he visit. A true form to bless and to judge. When he visit and he found iniquity in you, there is trouble with that of your portion in Jesus' name. Yeah. <laughs> but when he visit you, and he found you standing, committed to his word, as the soldier of the Lord, he will deliver you. He will take you to the next level. Amen. He said, remind me of my persecutors. Do you have anyone persecuting you? Some, they are doing it in such a manner that you are even thinking that they are the ones that love you most. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They will give you a land to farm, but they will give you the farm land under the palm tree. Full of shade, no light. Why? And the cross is sunlight to prosper. You know, I don't know if you've been to the farm before. Under the palm tree. The seed, the root of the palm tree are interwoven and interconnected. You can't plant anything there. May you not engage in fruitless venture in Jesus. Amen. Amen. Instead of you excelling, you are exerting more energy. Or he who wants to help you and give you a blood wine to cultivate. You exact more energy be done of your portion. The Lord will visit you, He will send you up Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. So when I visit you, I will deliver you. When I visit you, I will take you out of that land. This land. And I will take you to a large land that is bigger, that is full of milk and honey. Come to your neighbor and tell him, but I believe. I believe. The Lord will visit me. Do you believe the Lord is going to visit you? Yes, sir. How do you live your life? How do you prepare for the visitation of the Lord? It matters. So that when you visit, when he visit, you will know that I have visited. If you are lukewarm in the house of the Lord, you are neither cold nor rain. You will not know that you are too deep in them. Because when the prophecy comes, you will not believe it. May the Lord deliver you from unbelief. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The more of the word of the Lord you know, the better for you. You can sing, let it be unto me, according to your word. The word of the Lord will make sense unto you. But if it is otherwise, you will not know. 
Tell your neighbor, receive the grace to know. Grace to know, receive the grace. Receive the grace to know. Receive the grace to know. Receive the grace to know. I have prophesied in your life. You will be conscious of the life visitation. Amen. And when the Lord visits you, He will turn things around for you. Amen. Rise up on your feet. Talk to the Lord. Ask Him to visit you. Tell Him you are ready for a visitation. Tell Him you are ready for a visitation. That should give you the grace to believe. It should give you the grace to believe. To believe is what? Speak to the Lord. Instead of begging for God to give you work, men will be begging you to take the job. You will have more job than you have when the Lord visits you. When the Lord visits you, favor will increase. Favor from men, favor from women, corporate favors, promotion with God. When the Lord visits you, when the Lord visits you, you will not struggle anymore. Grace will fill your life. Receive the grace of the Bible visitation. When the Lord visits you, it will be little effort and great result. Talk to the Lord now. Ask him to visit you. Ask him to send unto you your destiny helper. When the Lord visits the man, the destiny helper will not make you. The name of Lord, I am ready. Here am I. I'm thinking of you too for his work. He's looking for a man to use. 